Hey, I'd like to show you guys this chicken coop here. I've got a barn light on here with a three-way switch so that I can turn the light on from inside the house. Or I've got a switch here inside the door, all depending on what the convenience is at the moment. And uh, anyhow, I went a little bit overboard. We sided it with uh, Hardy Plank and got the door from Home Depot and put windows in it, put vinyl windows in it. And uh, come on side here, a little concerned about the predators, so I put expanded metal up in the vents. I put expanded metal over the windows. The windows are so easy to get to and open up and close. And the, the guillotine door over here, I didn't want to get too elaborate, so it's just a piece of two quarter inch plywood and we can put a lock bolt in there so it's real easy to open and close. I didn't want to put any kind of timer devices in it. I just figured it would be another thing to screw up and wear out and this and that. And, and then the roofs are just 2x4 construction. And we took a router and, and put a 3 quarter bit in there and round the edges off. And some people, you know, say 2 inches, 2 and a half, 3 inches. And I figured it looked okay. It works, works fine. The ladder's a little bit steep, but they seem to use it fairly well. And then the nesting boxes are just, you know, I saw this on another video on YouTube, you know, you, get, you can get these things at Fred Meyer, you know, for 89 cents a piece, or a buck and a half, or whatever they were, and, and this seems to work out really well. And then I got the children here, I got some, uh, I got, the, these are Osterlorps, these white guys here are, are Leghorns, these little guys here are, are uh, light Brahmas, they call them, and then these are, uh, dark Brahmas, and they're, they're going to be here for a little while longer I, before I introduce them with the other chickens. And then uh, the lighting, you know, I tried to go old school, so we, we put some Edison bulbs in here, and I, and I stuck with metal casings on the on the outlets, and I wanted to go knob and tube on it, but I couldn't get anybody to take me seriously on that, you know, trying to keep it old school, and of course, you know, vinyl windows, and I said, well, we're going to have to go modern on this project. But uh, anyhow, I guess I'll take you outside and we'll look at the run here real quick. Oh. So I've got 4x4 four four construction here, treated posts. Uh, posts are all concreted in. Uh, I've read on YouTube where they want you to run the fencing down underneath the ground. I didn't want to do that, so I just I dug down about a foot and I, lay, I have concrete laid in underneath the boards here all the way around the whole pen so nothing can dig underneath there. And same with the gate area. It's it's so I have a two to four and then concrete laid in there. And that's all about a foot down and about a foot and a half width on both sides of the rails all the way around the whole pen. And uh, and then we got this uh, this no climb horse fence they call it here. And uh, we've got it over the top because I've got a lot of problems with uh, Cooper's hawks around here. Uh, I guess that's about it, Brian. I don't really know. Yeah, so here's the chickens. These ones were hatched on uh, February 4th. Of course, these are barred rocks. I've got one Rhode Island Red over there. Those are two Buff Orpingtons. So there are 18 of them all together. And uh, they should be giving us eggs here in another couple of months, I guess. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, I think it turned out fairly well, and I don't have to worry about the coyotes coming around anymore. And I also ran. So here's a better view of the uh, fencing here on top of the run. Go start. Get to start over.